Hey, what's up folks? This is something that came up recently in the office and it's a fairly common thing you need to do where you need to find the intersection of two street segments. So you've got a road network and you need to figure out where Unicorn Lane and Starfish Circle intersect if they intersect at all. And that's fairly straightforward to do in dirt, but there is a little bit of insider post just baseball you have to pass to it. So I figured I'd show you how to do that. So we're going to go down to the query route, and the query route is just kind of a generic one-off kind of thing, good for this sort of sort of query we're going to do. Uh, what makes this query a little different is that we're essentially comparing a table against itself in the query. So because we have one road network and we're comparing the road network to the, the road network. So what we're going to do is we're going to load the road network twice. We're going to say roads, because that's the name for our road network, because we're not creative, as F and roads as T. And this will allow us in the SQL query to compare the geometry of the road network to itself to see where those intersections are. So we've got our roads. For our columns, we're going to want to return the intersection if there is one. So we're going to go T intersects, intersection, pardon. It's the intersection of F and our stuff, our geometry on this table is called the geom because it's an old table. And that was the OG way in PostGIS to name your geometry columns. It was the underscore geom, like a pimp. The T, the underscore geom. Now I got both of them. So we're going to return the intersection. Now we need to do some filtering. We need to filter two roads. We want to see where they intersect. And I just happen to know a couple roads that intersect. We'll go f dot for our filter, f dot street name. Again, we're not good at naming things in, in Mecklenburg. Equals, we're all caps all the time in our street names. I just happen to know that. Where our from roads street name equals Ruth. And I guess we can leave that all caps, doesn't matter. And our two dot street name equals Kinsale. So that is two street names in our street network that I know intersect. So when we run this, we will get a bunch of this stuff. And you see these short ones? These short ones are tricking us a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. By the way, this is like a binary geometry. This is, well, let's look at something a little nicer. It's T underscore as text for that intersection to get an actual point. What we're seeing here is a couple of things. We're seeing some line string empty. And this is just basically, it's getting, it's returning that filter as true. Uh, for the street names, but it's comparing them to themselves, and they're not they're they're not intersecting um, just from how we're doing the filter. So that's what this empty stuff is, and we have this point here, but we really only need that once because it's it's giving us that as a duplicate because it's getting Ruth and Kinsale from the two street networks, and then it's getting Kinsale and Ruth from those two street networks. Uh, it's like I said, a little insider post, just fun baseball. So we're going to change our filter to say and st underscore touches, just to narrow things down, f dot the geom and t dot the geom. And I believe this should eliminate the, the empty ones. Let's see. Yep. Now we just have a duplicate, which is a... Uh, not ideal. And how we're going to get rid of that is we're just going to group by, let's give this output column name as PT for point. We'll just add that to the group by. And this will only give us one version of that. It's good because it's grouping by that value. Uh, and it needs to be as, not it. You guys probably saw that immediately. We're yelling at the monitor. And there we have it. That's how you can do an intersection on a no road network to get you know, the intersection of streets. So 
when whoever out in the field goes, I'm in the intersection of uh, Ritterondo and Melancholy, you can figure out where they are. So again, we're just doing the ST intersection as the column to return those coordinates. And then we're filtering on the street names and whether those street, whether the two geometries with the street names uh, touch. And then we're doing this group by of this point geometry so we're not getting duplicates. And that's all there is to it. Not bad, but there, yeah, I do have to know a little bit of the internal post gist functions to get that up and working. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful and you're having a great weekend and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.